Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been such a long, long time since I've spoken to you all. I think the last time I did a video for you guys was about four to five weeks ago, but it has actually been such a whirlwind month for me. For those that have been following me on Instagram and, and YouTube over the past few months, you will know that I have just moved. I am in the middle of just starting our own self-build and have just moved into our flat and I've finally actually got myself a little bit of space after unpacking all of the thousands and thousands of boxes to actually sit down with you and have a YouTube video. So I'm so sorry for my absence, but I am genuinely so happy to be back. So here I am in our new digs in a makeshift bedroom, study, dressing room area, carved myself a little corner. One thing I will say to you is we are living right next to a station, which does mean you will hear intermittently a train go by. And I have wondered how I'm gonna handle this where I stop the video, let the train go by and re-record. But I think I'm just gonna go with it, see how it goes, because I don't like to interrupt the flow. And we all know I can chat for Britain. As you may have guessed from today's title, today's haul is a mixture of items from Zara and Nasty Girl. And I have to say, I have gone a little bit over the top with ordering. Because of the move and lead up to the move, it kind of meant that I wasn't buying or even just shopping online like I usually would. There was a massive lull where I didn't buy any items. And then we went away for a week in Ibiza just before the kind of restrictions came back down to travel to Ibiza. And I took some much needed time off because I have to say, changing jobs, moving, downsizing and starting a self-build, I would not recommend that for anyone because it was hugely, hugely stressful, very, very busy and I felt so, so drained. So actually during Ibiza, I was back on my phone, shopping online as I do because it's one of my favorite pastimes and I may have gone a little bit over the top with ordering some items from Nasty Girl especially and some items from Zara. Now Nasty Girl is a store that I have shopped with for a good kind of three, four years and what I do like about Nasty Girl is it's not the most obvious choice for people to go and purchase items from and because of that I often find that I buy and find items that I love on there that I can wear and people aren't wearing them or haven't seen them in the stores and therefore are really kind of like oh I really like that dress where that's from and it kind of feels like unique to you so here I am sharing my secret it's not really a secret but just sharing you what I like to do I mean I love H&M I love Zara you know that but I also like to find other stores to buy and find different items so that you know you do feel like you're wearing a unique item now the thing I would say was with Nasty Girl I find it can be a little bit hit and miss I sometimes order items and I find that the quality really isn't good at all when I send all the items back however there are those times that I do order from them I order far too many because as you'll find out as we go through this haul the items are very very reasonably priced often from about 13 pounds to 20 pounds and I end up buying these items really really loving them keeping them all and thinking oh you know it's only 13 pounds it's only 20 pounds but then I'm literally 200 pounds later I haven't spent a fortune so having explained all that this is one of those times where I've ordered items and practically loved absolutely every item I bought, which has meant I have spent a good few hundred pounds and in turn have had to segregate this haul into two parts because I just bought so many dresses and loved them all. So today's haul, as you may have gathered from the title, is based around short dresses. So you know I've got a thing, I love midi dresses, I love maxi dresses, and I know that some of you absolutely love midi and maxi dresses too. So I thought it'd be wise to kind of split this into two. Today's haul is just focused around kind of like to the knee dresses, summer dresses, which are really light, really cool, really airy, and I think have a different edge and I think that you would really really love to purchase and then following the next week I'll come back to you guys with a second haul just showing you some of the midi dresses and the maxi dresses that I've bought which I've also loved some beautiful beautiful pieces so before I babble away I'm going to get straight into it and get into these items now my first item is this beautiful beautiful frilled embroidered short white dress with a kind of tiered gabbard lens throughout the length of the dress that you can see here. Now I'm gonna bring it up to the camera just so you can see a little bit better. But I hope to show you in the cutaway so you can get a real idea of how this sits with you. This dress is definitely an underdog dress. It's a dress that I saw and I love the frills. I absolutely love anything with a frill and anything with really good heavy embroidered detail. However, I thought this item was going to be a bit short for me. Having a figure which is kind of a very, I'm five foot seven, I have quite long legs, I have quite a curvy bottom half, 
I often tend to shy away from anything that's really, really short because I feel it can either make me look frumpy or I'm just a little bit conscious of showing, you know, my bottom essentially. But this dress is an underdog and the fact that I'm showing you this first just shows you how much I love this dress. Now it is still short and you'll be able to see that from the cutaway. But the most amazing thing for me for this dress is also the back on it. Now, hopefully I'll be showing that in the, in the cutaway. But the back itself is lower than the front. And in such a very slight, delicate way, it's not too backless to be really ultra sexy. But it is giving you a glimmer of your back. And I just, if you know, if you follow me for a long time, you know I love backless dresses full stop or anything that flirts with the back because for me I feel like it's the ultra way to be sexy without being revealing too much and also feeling too conscious but also what I have to say is the actual work that has gone into this dress is amazing like honestly I'm gonna have to bring it up to the camera again because I'm absolutely blown away I'm hoping that this is in focus for you but there is such detail throughout this entire dress like I'm actually shocked for the price. The price I think is about £20 mark as are most of the items from Nasty Girl. There's a few £13 ones but this is a £20 mark and one thing I have to say is that I bought all these items with a discount code so I'm not too sure at the time whether that discount code is still running but what I will do is find you a discount code that is running for the time that this video goes live. I'll pop it in the description box below along with all the links that I always provide you guys with the direct links to these dresses but yeah the reason I just love this is the detail and for £20 the amount of detail that has gone into this dress is absolutely unbelievable and the other thing I have to say is these dresses are fully lined so yeah for £20 I'm absolutely shocked I think the key factors for me are the frill the, the way it's cut, it's so delicate, it's so cute, without being overly sexy, the backless, the detail, the double lining, and the price point. I mean, I was going to cut that down to a few points, but as you can see, I absolutely love this dress, so I feel like there are many, many positives. And I would say, if you were on the fence about this dress, just to purchase it, because it is fantastic, and I, de I definitely think you're going to love it when it arrives. Now, my second item is this beautiful, beautiful pink dress. Now, if you followed me for a little while, you will know that I found a new love for the colour pink. So this dress is definitely right up my street. It's quite similar to the white dress, as you can see. It's got that kind of square, cute neckline. But in addition, you've got these kind of frills on the shoulders which I absolutely love so it's not quite a loose frill they're more of a structured frill which I feel for this dress works really well purely because this is a very plain dress in comparison to the other one which had a lot of embroidery a lot of detail running throughout the dress whereas this is kind of just very plain very structured kind of cut underneath the bodice and straight out with a zipper up the side to kind of give it a bit of structure and I feel like the structure on the frills kind of works really well here now this dress I believe I got in a size 10 only being because I don't think they had a size 8 available at the time and that's the thing about Nasty Girl I do find um, a lot of their stock does seem to go in like in, in weird kind of times an item could be in the store for about one week and not really sell and then all of a sudden it will just sell out so hopefully when this goes up live these will be available but I got this in a size 10 it fits really really well and I also got another another colour of the same dress because you know what I'm like if I love a dress and I see it in different colours I often buy them in all of the colours that are available I'm not sure if it's a good thing I don't necessarily think it's a vice but yeah that's how I often spend I spend a lot of my money is buying the same dress in different colours but one thing I will say is I do get my wear out of them and I find that I'd rather have a dress that fits me well that I feel comfortable in and looks good and has them in different colours and can wear them in different ways rather than kind of just just buying dresses to kind of bulk, bulk the wardrobe out and not necessarily loving them like I do now this I believe I also got this one in a size 8 and what I will say is the sizes difference between the 8 and a 10 aren't so dramatic but one thing I really love about this dress that is I suppose different to the kind of the white dress that I showed you first of all is the fact that when you've got a dress that's quite plain and quite structured the colours being quite girly or kind of kind of kind of neutral like this what I do love about this is that you can still wear these with a wedge heel or flip-flop but I also think you these dresses are going to be perfect for wearing with trainers 
popping out to the shop, running errands, popping down to the park with your kind of godchildren or your children. But in addition to that, I think you can really toughen these dresses up because of the girly out nature. I love when I've got something that's really, really girly to wear accessories that really toughen it up. It juxtaposes exactly what you've got here. So by way of example, for this dress, I would toughen this up by wearing a really thick black kind of heavy boot and a kind of a black leather jacket to toughen it up, which I love. And the same, I think that, you know, some people might think, well, how are you going to toughen up a pink dress? Well, why not wear the kind of a beige dress and throw over kind of a beige kind of leather jacket and so forth? Or, or even not, don't even put the leather jacket on and just toughen it up with the boots. So what I'll do is I'll try these on. I'll show you these in the cutaways and hopefully I will show you them styled up in different ways. So as I've been talking, hopefully you would have been seeing that to the right hand side of the screen. Hence why I always sit on the left so I can make sure I've got enough space to show you guys how I would style it up. But these dresses are brilliant and these are around the same price point again 20 pound mark obviously i've got them in a size 8 and a 10 and they both fit me quite well so hopefully as a size reference for you guys that will also work well too now moving on to my next item item four is another white dress now this dress is actually a stunning piece and now that i'm holding this up i'm thinking why should i not show you this as the first item because it is just such a beautiful beautiful piece now once again the price point for this dress is about is around the 20 pound mark and obviously this is going to vary depending on what discount code i'm able to find for you for the day that this video goes live but what i love about this dress is if you if i just hold it here without even putting it on it seems like a very simple plain square neck white dress now i hope what you can see from the cutaway is how this dress is a surprising dress because this dress for the price of 20 pounds as well may i add has bones running all the way through the front of the dress it cuts just above your waistline so it does go underneath your bust a little bit further than the other dresses that i've shown you it sits on your waistline and then it has these bones at the front that kind of gives you that real kind of I suppose Elizabethan kind of style cut across the breasts which I think is amazing and then it just floats out really lightly now this is a beautiful crepe finish as well it is lined as well and I keep saying as well because I just can't believe that Nasty Girl has produced such a dress for this price point which is why I'm really shocked as I said to you earlier on when I buy some items from Nasty Girl sometimes I'm really um not not so happy with the quality of the items and, and then sometimes when i buy items from nasty girl the quality of the items are amazing and this is where i'm blown away as with the first dress that i showed you in today's video the level of detail and the stitch work in that dress was amazing and for the price point of 20 pounds and then you have this dress which has but has a bone front is double lined but once again, the price point of £20 is absolutely amazing. Now I've got this in a size 8. I also purchased this in a size 10 to see which size would fit me. But the size 8 fits me perfectly. And I would say that you can even add a little belt if you fancy. It doesn't necessarily need a belt. But you can even add a little belt to give it a, even a little bit more structure, more tighter to kind of go with the kind of bodice flow just to kind of give it that extra edge. But once again, you could do it without the belt and it will feel very summery, very light. A fantastic piece, a piece that you could wear with sandals, with kind of a wedged heel and really wear it out for dinner. A piece that you could wear as flip flops. This is a piece that I think will be do well in the UK and on holiday. Yeah, I'm just absolutely blown away by this. And I have to say like, if this is still in stock, I will be surprised, but they do bring stock back in. So hopefully by the time that this video goes live, there will be more stock. But this is a fantastic dress and I 100% recommend purchasing it. Now, moving on to my next item of today's haul is yet again, another short dress, but this is a dress from Zara. And as I promised you, this is a haul with not just nasty girl items. This is a haul with Zara items as well. And this is a dress that I think some of you might be quite surprised that I went for because it is black. And we all know that I love color and therefore in summer, I just love to wear color even more so. But the reason I bought this dress is what I often find is I have been buying a lot of items for the day, having been that the fact that we've been living from home, working from home. I find that a lot of my items are kind of daily focused. And actually now that we've started to ease restrictions and have been able to go, go out for dinner and even see friends, I found that my wardrobe really lacks kind of those going out pieces. And so I found that whenever I have been going out or have gone out with friends in the evening, that I've really, really struggled with what to wear. And I know some of you must be thinking, how can you struggle you buy so many clothes you have so many clothes how can you struggle with what to wear 
But I have to say, I just really struggle with um, anything to wear in the evening that is something that's a little bit fancy, that makes you feel quite sexy. If you're going out, out, you know, not just out for dinner, like, you know, out, out, dinner, drinks, drinks, and maybe shots, I don't know. But I have really struggled. So I saw this dress and I wasn't 100% sure, but I have to say I'm quite shocked by it. And I have already worn this dress already. Now this is a black dress. It's kind of a hold up to the camera. It's like heavily embroidered. It's really well detailed. It's got the little lining on the kind of bottom half of, of the actual dress. It's $29.99 from Zara in its typical fashion. I bought it in a size eight. But what I like about this dress is it's still quite summery. It's a dress that can still be worn in a day, shock. <laughs> but it's also quite short and you'll be able to see that in the cutaways. And how I saw wearing this dress is wearing this dress with a kind of a heeled shoe or definitely a heeled sandal. And then in that way, it can be really dressed up for dinner and drinks with the girls. But in addition, what I did also think about this dress is this dress would be great in a day. Not for a real hot summer's day like we have had in the UK, which has been far too hot for me. But just more of a chilled summer's day. And you could wear this with flat fit flops. Now, I recently bought a pair of Valentino black sandals, which I put on a little vote on my Instagram to see if you guys thought I should take the plunge and just buy them. These sandals, I've, I've literally lusted over these sandals for years and years, but because of my foot issues that I had, I could never wear open toe sandals. So now that my foot issues have been sorted, I've had my surgery, everything's back to normal, I just took the plunge and I thought, you know what, treat yourself. And I love these sandals, so I think you'll be able to see me wearing them in the cutaway. But yeah, if you're on the edge about buying a Valentino pair of sandals, Gladiator sandals, buy them because they go out of stock really quickly every summer but I found them so comfortable I think they're so sexy my partner likes them shop when he really likes heels so the fact that he found them sexy but yeah I digress we're not talking about sandals today but yeah this is why I bought this this dress I have worn this out I wore this out actually for my brother's final dinner as a um as a single person because he's now married which is amazing i had the most amazing wedding day with him it literally just blew me, blew me away and i was so proud of him but yeah um sorry i'm i'm, I'm gabbling on but yeah i had the best time the best time in this dress loved it and obviously in true fashion i can't just buy one color i also bought it in a white as well and i haven't yet worn this but i can definitely see myself wearing this it's just the style i really really love this kind of style um i have actually tried to look for a dress in this kind of kind of detail in a kind of maxi dress style but i love this and i thought this would just be easy easy to float throw on especially for going away on a holiday with a pair of kind of brown flip-flops you know woven straw bucket bag yeah i just thought this was perfect yeah i love this dress i think my only downside i would say about this white dress in particular is that the dress is lined from the kind of waist down but it's not up top and that's okay with the black dress because obviously you wear a black bra and so forth but i do find that the top is quite see-through so you can even still see it when you're wearing a nude bra so that's my only downside about this dress but yes we have come to the end of my haul i can't believe that was over so quickly i have absolutely loved showing these dresses to you normally in my hauls what i normally say to you guys is i can't keep these all so let me know in the comments which one you think i should keep which one i should send back but i have genuinely loved every single one of these items so i will be keeping these and actually in some of these i have already worn already but i hope that you've enjoyed my first haul back i must say i did feel a little bit rusty so i hope that it feel a little bit better as we settle into our new home but i hope you are all doing okay i hope you've enjoyed your summer i know if you're here in the uk it has been rather hot i have to say in our new place it is hotter than our old house and it has been terribly hot but i'm not complaining because i do love the warm weather but hey with the warm weather it means even more reason to buy more summer dresses well at least that's what i tell myself but i hope you are all doing well and easing into these looser restrictions well and i really do look forward to speaking to you soon if you have loved today's video then it would mean the real world to me if you could hit like below and subscribe to see future videos but i want to thank you all for spending the time for listening to me today and i really look forward to speaking to you soon take care guys